Hi, Petra. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, Alexander. Hi, how are you guys? Hello, how are you? <laughs> it's nice to see you at last. <laughs> Gosh, it's nice to see you. And you guys yeah, have been absolutely my, brilliant. My camera, I think. We can hear you, Alex. I don't think we've got video from Alex, though. No, we don't have your video. Do you have it turned on? No, because, because it's a group call. Um, I think group calls don't support videos on Skype, guys. Oh, alas. Uh, I think they do, but you might have some settings that um, on his, don't. He's on his phone. Oh, that will that'll yeah, explain it. Yeah, it but we have Petra. Hello, Petra. Lovely to <laughs> see you. Hi. <laughs> Um, so we, we wanted to ask you guys a few questions about your involvement in the project, if that's okay. Totally. Okay, brilliant. Um, sure. So how did you enjoy playing your characters? Um, Petra, how did you enjoy playing Nico? Oh, I like Nico's character very much. She's, I mean, she's clever. She's smart. She's such a cool person. Um, and on the other hand, she's so lovely. So I really enjoyed to be Nico. Great. Because she's a wonderful character. And I also, I have, I think I have to switch the, the headphones off for a second, otherwise I hear okay. myself. Okay. And it's enough if you hear me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I like her sense of humor and she's that kind of woman, if she's on, on a mission, she just goes straight. Absolutely. And I love that. Because I think in real life, most women like to be exactly like her. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. She's very popular around here anyway. So, yeah. Alex, would you agree that Nico is the one in charge of the relationship? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, George, <laughs> he just wishes to be with Nico. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I always like the character of Nico myself. I think it's extremely sexy and, and great. Okay. Oh, fantastic. How, how did you find playing George, Alex? Well, uh, George is by now a big part of my life, of course. Uh, I, I, you know, being the, in the fifth installment, plus that uh, fan part, the 2.5 part in between, I, I feel like uh, George is really part of my being at oh. this point. Um, and it, it's just so great to come back from time to time and be George again. I really, really enjoyed um, this this part a lot, especially because I felt like we had a little bit more to do than in the other parts. There was just so much going on, uh, so many great adventures, and, and George is, as always, too smart for his own good, but also, uh, you know, as always, George is just funny. I, I love George. He's so dry, and he, he has a lot of my own humor. I, I really appreciate being George um, on, on such an ongoing basis. He is a lovable rogue. Isn't he? Yeah, and and I was really impressed that you you played George in in uh, Baphomet's Fluch 2.5. And we ought to say to people that the game is obviously Broken Sword in the English language, um, Baphomet's Fluch in German, and Chevalier de Baphomet in French, and Broken oh, Sword wow. in, in Italian and Spanish. And we were so impressed. Oh, Tony's making lots of noise with his mobile phone. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, Tony, turn it off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading, I'm reading tech support emails. Oh, right. <laughs> he's on um, the job even now. He's on and, the job. And Broken Sword 2.5, Baphomet Sword 2.5, was an extraordinary achievement, wasn't it? From from uh, a wonderful collection of, of German fans. Um, I keep saying that at the next Gamescom, we should all get together and basically oh, thank cool. them for you know for their for their dev devotion. Um, the only thing is that we do feel that we should pick them up on a couple of facts. And the first one is that York City is not a good football team, and it's not in a high <laughs> division. And secondly, the weather, the weather in York is not nearly as good as they depict. But apart from that, it was fantastic. <laughs> not like the weather in LA, eh, Alex? I saw it earlier. Well, I'm sorry that you guys don't see my video, because I'm now again on the highway, and it's just extremely beautiful, as always, in LA. And, and uh, you know, in about 20 minutes, I'll be at my house, um, which is right on the beach. I wish I could have shown you some of those wow. uh, moments there. It's pretty awesome there. And it sounds awful. It does yeah. sound awful. And, and Pe thing. Petra, is your, is your life as exotic? Yeah. Sorry? Is your life as exotic? No, it's not <laughs> as exotic. Where are you? I, I just live in Cologne, in the middle of the center, but I love it because it's a very liberal city with a lot of funny guys. And 
Yeah, you have a lot of bars. You can go to discotheques or something. You have very open persons. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes I lose my words because huh, it's we, not my we, language. We, we know, of course, I, I, we, we know the Cologne Messer very well. The co That's my joke. The Cologne Messer, the, 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 the hall in Cologne. Yeah. And, and, and the Dom. Yeah, for sure. Which is, which is magnificent. Um, Absolutely impressive. Can I tell you, uh, Petra, you, you, you forgive me. When, when I was at Gamescom in August, I was in a real rush. And I was really lucky because I got to the, the station at Gamescom, you know, um, at the Cologne Messe, yeah. and, and, and there was a train waiting, one of the fast trains, and somebody got out and I said, is this going into Cologne? He said, yes, it'll be very quick. It only takes two minutes. So I got in and the train went in the wrong direction. And it went, <laughs> it went and, and the conductor came and he said, where are you going to? I said, Cologne. He said, we're going to Dusseldorf. And I said, what's the first stop? He said, Dusseldorf. <laughs> so I went all the way to Dusseldorf, <laughs> ran across. At least your German trains are very fast. It didn't take that long, but I did feel very yeah, stupid. I, I think it, it, it took you longer or more than two minutes, huh? Yeah, well, it took me a lot more than two minutes, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So can I just ask you guys, um, how was it working with your director? Um, I want to pronounce, make this pronunciation right now. Antje Rusch, is that right? Antje Rusch. Oh, sorry, forgive me. Antje Rusch. Oh, I'm still oh, wrong. Rusch. <laughs> oh, Rusch. I think, you know, she's a very special person. She's a very, very special director. She's, um, if you see her the first time, and you have never met her before, she comes to you and hugs you. And she's so lovely and she's such a sensitive person. I think this is what most actors and speakers need because mm -hmm. you have to trust someone to give everything you can. Mm -hmm. And I'm really in love with her. <laughs> she we knows can tell. <laughs> exactly what she wants. And I mean, she knows Nico much longer than I do. Mm -hmm. So she also knows exactly what the fans want. Yeah. I loved working with her. Great. Oh, fantastic. And Toneworks, your Toneworks, of course, with York. With York um, Mackinson. Mackinson. Mackinson, I'm, I'm pronouncing his name wrong, of course, but no, uh, no, no, I York, I York is great, kidding. isn't he? I was, I don't know, I was just kidding, because every time I, I talk to him and he answers the phone, he says, hello, here's the little Mackinson. <laughs> but he's also a very, a very funny guy. Fantastic. I mean, I like him. What he says, he says what he means. And what he says, how do you say it in English? I always see myself. I mean, if he says something, then it happens. He, right. So he's a very cool guy. It's very cool to work with him. S sincere. Sincere. Alex, are we still with you? You know what, I dropped out in between, but when I came back, uh, Petra was talking about Antje, and I immediately understood that she's talking about Antje, because I love Antje yeah. too. <laughs> and, okay. uh, she's talking about Jörg, I, I love the whole bunch of them. Uh, it's just always so great to come back and work with everybody, it's, it's, it was a lot of fun. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. Well, I, I mean, both of you, I mean, thank you so much for being such an important part of the, 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 the brand. Um, Alex, I mean, it's been 1996 was the first time you played George? Absolutely. Wow. Maybe even 1995, because I, I don't remember. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, you know, 1995, 1995, I do beg your pardon. Yeah, I think it was 95, and uh, it was actually recorded in Dusseldorf in a studio that doesn't exist anymore, Studio Fröhlich, which I really loved to go to. And uh, it, was, it was really one of these... Um, amazing opportunities uh, to to speak for Baphomet's Fluff One and, and to be George, of course. I can't even remember if there was much of an audition uh, process or casting process going on, but it, it was just great. I mean, at one point I got really bored about talking about a red clown's nose, but you know that's just <laughs> like this. And a tissue, and I, right? I will never ever forget that. Haben Sie diese rote clown's nose schon einmal gesehen? It's just you know, <laughs> I, it's just part of my life. <laughs> yeah, that's the bit that's always the hardest when we're recording in English, and you have to do all the voiceovers. 
you know. But yeah. but hopefully, occasionally, some of the voiceovers are really funny and it makes it lighter because there are only so many times that you can talk about the objects in your inventory and, and what you talk, you know. But no, yeah. that's brilliant. Okay, um, we just want to say thanks very much for being so patient, guys. I know you've been waiting a really long time to speak to us, but it's been brilliant that you could meet the fans. Um, would you have a message from Nico and George in German that you'd like to give for the German fans? Petra, you want to go first? I would say you go first, because <laughs> you're doing it much longer than me, so it's your turn. Okay, dann hallo an alle deutschen Fans. Hier ist George. Ich fahre auf der Autobahn. Uh, leider bin ich nicht in Paris, wo ich sehr viel lieber wäre, vor allem weil Nico auch am Telefon ist. Aber irgendwie habe ich das Gefühl, dass uh, wir uns alle sehr bald wiedersehen, hoffentlich in Paris. Und dann denke ich, dass wir wieder ein tolles Abenteuer erleben. Nun, was ist das denn da? Ich glaube, hier ist ein Stau. Na gut, ich werde wohl etwas im Stau stehen und gebe das Wort weiter an Nico. Fantastic. Amazing. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, that's your turn. <laughs> George, George, beruhig dich. Ganz ehrlich, wenn du im Stau stehst, kannst du eine Menge Rätsel lösen. Schau dich genau um, was siehst du? Huh? Aber lassen wir das. Gut, das machen wir später. Ich wünsche allen Fans, den alten, den neuen vom Baphomets Fluch, ich wünsche euch wahnsinnig viel Spaß. Ich, was ich bisher gesehen habe von dem Spiel ist wunderbar. Ich konnte es noch nicht zu Ende spielen. Ähm, aber ich, ich, ich freue mich, dass ich Teil dessen sein darf und ich wünsche euch einfach wahnsinnig viel Spaß und ihr habt lang genug gewartet. Genießt es. Thank you. That's Brilliant. Amazing. Thank guys, thanks That's so awesome. much. Thank you for your patience. Thank you all for your patience um, and bearing with us. It's been really great. Um, I have to say, can I just say, I really love going to Germany because everybody's enthusiastic. I have to say, people are really bright and they really love the history. And it's always a pleasure. And you guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Petra and Alex. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Thank Bye. you, guys. Bye. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that was lovely. Yeah. Wasn't that sweet?